Hi, welcome to this course. Myself, Muhammad Yaqub. I am the founder of Scratchland. So, he is Mr. Pondian. He is a senior AE developer at Tendersoft. He is going to be your instructor for this entire course. In this course, you are going to learn a real-time project in computer vision. That is driver drowsiness and detection using computer vision. When we learn about a project, we have to understand the problem first. Nowadays, in the world, there are a lot of driving accidents are happening day by day. So if we see what is the main root cause for the accident, one of the main major issue is driver drowsy issue. So once the driver feels sleepy or if he slept while driving, no, it should be surely fatal accident. So to solve this problem, we have come up with some fantastic idea called drowsiness detection using computer vision. So in this project, we will be learning a lot of modules like facial detection, facial landmark detection. After that, we will be implementing logic to identify face drowsiness detection. And then we have developed like real time video processing and then alert generation. And then we have developed Tikinder graphical user interface to make everything easy for development and understanding it. So this course is going to help you in understanding the computer vision in a better way. So let's point in take over the project explanation part. Thank you. We are going to use the Python programming language to implement our entire project. For that, uh, we need to install a Python IDE. We are going to use only a specific version of Python for implementing our entire project. Uh, for that, uh, we need to uh, install Python 3.12. And if you have already installed any other version of Python on your machine, then it must be uninstalled uh, from your uh, machine. So let's see how to install uh, Python on your machine. First, you need to go to Google and type in Python 3.12 PY release. Then scroll down. Select the Windows installer 64 bit. Then simply click to run it. Then select add Python to path. Then click install. Now Python is successfully set up on my machine. Then close it. Now we can go and check the Python version using CMD. PY hyphen hyphen version. On my system, the Python version is 3.120. Now we can go ahead and implement our project. Before implementing and executing any part of our project, first we need to install VS Code on your machine. And if you already installed VS Code on your machine, then that's perfectly fine. This guide is for those who have not yet installed VS Code on their machine. Let's go through it step by step. VS Code is a platform that makes it easy to build applications. To install VS Code on your machine, first you need to go to Google and type VS Code. Then press enter. Select Visual Studio Code from the results. Then click on download for Windows 10 and 11. Now the download has started. We need to wait a few seconds for the download to complete. Now VS Code has been successfully installed on my machine. Then I go to the folder. Then right click on the file to install. Next, accept the agreement and click next. Next. Yes. Next. Next one. Install. We need to wait a few seconds for the installer. Now VS Code has been successfully installed on my machine. Then click finish. Now we can go and check the version of VS Code using CMD. Then type CMD here. Type code version. The VS Code version is 1.953. And now we can implement the project step by step. I am going to give a brief introduction about the project. 
The project is called Driver Drowsiness Detection. This application is designed to help prevent accidents. When the driver is about to fall asleep, we can detect whether their eyes are closed or not. At the same time, we will also detect yawning and count how many times the driver has yawned. This is a brief introduction to the project. Now, I am going to explain the code and also show how to execute it. Let's get started. First, we need to go where it is there, uh, driver detection project, then replace it with the cmd command, space dot. Now, the project is opened in VS Code. First, we need to import the necessary libraries to implement the project. The packages are cv2 and numpy. I am going to give a brief introduction about the MediaPipe library. MediaPipe is a Python library developed by Google and this library is used for face landmark extraction, face detection and body pose landmark extraction. But in this project, we are specifically going to use it for face landmark extraction. The points include the ear points and mouth points. After that, I initialize the MediaPipe library mp solution then face mask after that i defined some of the media pipe parameters which are the static image mode uh, max number of faces to detect uh, refined landmarks the landmark is continuously updating and i set the threshold of uh, year year means uh, year aspect ratio mouth aspect ratio consecutive frames is 5 if the year value is below the threshold, then the eyes are closed. If the threshold is greater than the mere value, then it's considered as yawning. Then we need to set the right ear landmark and left ear landmarks here. And there are a total of six landmarks on the ears. Right ear and left ear. And there are four points in the mouth indices starting, ending, up and down. Next, we define the function for calculating the ear aspect ratio and mouth aspect ratio. We are going to use the Euclidean distance formula, which makes it easier to calculate the minimum distance between points. The formula is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is the formula for calculating the minimum distance between two points. These are point 0.1 and point 0.2. There are actually a total of six points, both horizontal and vertical. And then these are the mouth landmark points. There are a total of four points. We are only going to use two points, the upper and lower ones. With this technique, we can determine whether the ears are open or not and whether the mouth is open or not. Next, we define a tkint of window. The window is named uh, Driver Drossiness Reduction and the background color is uh, light blue. The title is uh, Driver Drossiness and Yawning Reduction. Initially, we set uh, statuses for waiting for face detection, e close count and yawning count. It's uh, just updating within the window. Then we set the background button. The color is light blue. Then start the live stream. Whether the live stream is uh, started or uh, stopped. Then we set the buttons for uh, start and uh, stop. If you want to quit the program, you can just click exit. Then exit. Define the exit button. CV2 video capture is a function that processes frames one by one. Initially, we set the is live variable to false. Once it becomes true, we stop the execution and then update the frame. This is to convert BGR to RGB, which is used to obtain RF data. This is for displaying a frame in the tick inter window. Then we process each frame one by one here and then convert it from BGR to RGB. Then the Extracted frame is passed into the face mesh for face landmark extraction, including the ears and mouth. Next, 
calculate the distance for the ear aspect ratio and mouth aspect ratio. This is the formula for uh, calculating the ear aspect ratio. Simply put, you add together the values for the left ear and the right ear, then divide by 2. The reason for dividing by 2 is, as you might expect, to standardize the measurement for everyone. Since ear sizes can vary from person to person, that's why we divided by 2. Next, we calculate the mouth aspect ratio. Then we set the color of the text in the teak inter window back to its original value. Next, we set the text's y and x positions as needed. Then we set the condition that if the year value is below the threshold, we increase the eye closure count. If the mouth or ear value is above the threshold, then we should increase the yawn count. When there is no, if the eyes are closed and the mouth is not open, then we set the status to active. This is used to draw our uh, facial landmarks and to draw a rectangle around the face. When no face is detected, we should display a message no faces detected then update the frame if you want to exit the program you just need to press Q to stop the execution so finally we should release all the windows and close all windows first I am going to install the media pipe library on my system to do that we need to carefully open up a brand new terminal window in your system and then type in the command pip just like this install our requirement txt now media pipe is installing and it has been successfully installed on my system next i am going to run driver dawsonian detection py Now the tkinter window has opened. Then uh, I'm going to start the live feed. Now my face is being detected and there is no eye closure count and no yawning count. Now I'm going to open my mouth. Now the count has increased. Now I'm going to close my mouth. Now my eyes are closed. The count is 8 and to ensure that it should be an open space only then can the model detect faces as well as ear points and mouth points. If the face is in darkness it won't be able to detect facial landmarks or even the face itself. Hope you enjoyed the course. Course will surely give you solid foundation in computer vision and then it will help you on your final year projects also and then surely it will help on your cracking your job interviews while implementing this project if you face any kind of difficulty while implementing the project or while setting up an environment or if you get any kind of doubt you can feel free to put in the comment section we will surely will help you in as soon as possible in a better way thank you